And the winner is... Dance Central. We'll be right back. Two more big time presenters join us now, ladies and gentlemen. One is AIAS Hall of Famer, Mike Morhaime, the CEO and co-founder of Blizzard Entertainment, an old buddy of mine. The studio behind World of Warcraft, Starcraft 2, and the upcoming Diablo 3. Run three Diablos now, that's amazing. The other is Mike Caps, the president of Epic Games, the studio behind Gears of War and the Unreal Engine. Give it up for the mics, everybody. Mike Caps, let's go. Hi, guys. Jay's killing it. He's really doing it. All right, so each year since 1998, the Academy has inducted into its Hall of Fame an individual who has made a significant advancement in our industry while demonstrating proven success and leadership. This year, we're not doing that. This year, we're proud to be honoring two individuals, Drs. Ray Musica and Greg Zeschik. So I admit we argued a lot about whether a duo should be eligible for this award at all, but their industry careers are pretty inseparable. Sure, they played doctor with each other for a few years, but since, <laughs> since 1995, they've co-managed Bioware, which is one of the most celebrated game companies on the planet, including tonight, and dedicated themselves to making the most emotionally engaging games in the world. And together, they've achieved that goal time and time again. They've collaborated so closely for so long on so many revolutionary games that in the end, we decided to give them the award as a team. But we're making them share one statue. The doctors are gamers at heart, just like all of the rest of us here. Their passion is something that clearly affects the way BioWare develops games, the way they run their company, and the way they treat their players. BioWare games have enthralled and entertained millions of players, as well as inspired thousands of developers around the world. Let's take a look back at the captivating worlds that we've explored and the memorable characters that we've met in BioWare games. We believe that games can and do fulfill a valid goal in terms of, you know, they make you feel something, they make you feel real emotion. Dr. Ray Muzika and Dr. Greg Zestrak have been the masterminds behind some of the most successful and critically praised games of the past two decades. Following their entrance into medical practice, the doctors launched BioWare in February 1995. One year later, the studio released its first game, and success quickly followed. The first game was Shattered Steel, it was an action title, and the second game was Baldur's Gate, and uh, that was a RPG, and it, it did really well, it sold uh, millions and millions of units across the world, and just took off from there. BioWare became known for their story-driven role-playing games. Their vision to create, deliver, and evolve the most emotionally engaging games in the world. Deep down, we did have that passion um, for, for games like Baldur's Gate. That was our, our first thing we were excited about doing. Bioware's catalog of critically and commercially successful games include landmark products such as the Baldur's Gate series, Never Winter Nights, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, Jade Empire, Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood, Dragon Age Origins, and the Mass Effect series. It's really impressive what they've been able to do with kind of this singular vision of we're going to try to make the best role-playing games out on the market. And I, I think it's very clear that they've not only done that, but they're continuing to do it. But it's a consistent focus on core values of quality in their products, quality in their workplace, entrepreneurship, humility, and collaborative teamwork that best defines Ray and Greg. So I think for this one, we could use a little help. I think John Riccatello is back there, and he's probably got a closer view on these two guys. John, you back there? Yeah. So um, thanks, Mike. Um, I'm not exactly sure when I first met uh, Ray and Greg, but my lawyer absolutely insists it wasn't a secret lunch at my house set up by a Hollywood agent. Now, it's an absolute honor uh, to reintroduce Ray and Greg. They're 
a profound inspiration for me in what I do every day. I draw the inspiration really on two things. Ray and Greg have a deeper and richer commitment to the craft and quality of gaming than most anybody I've ever met, and a more profound belief in supporting their teams than nearly anybody I've ever worked with in the game industry. Quality and team defines who they are. Ray Muzika, Greg Zeshak, come on up. We're thrilled to present you the Hall of Fame Award. Wow, I, uh, I mean, it's, it's hard to find words of how we feel, but I mean, I can say thank you. I, mean, I want to thank a lot, a lot of people. We want to thank a lot of people, so we're going to start and, and go through the list. And First off, I want to thank uh, John for the uh, introduction. He's a genuine mentor and uh, ongoing inspiration to both of us, and uh, he's the main reason we joined EA, and uh, you know, we're proud to work for him, proud to work for Frank and all the other great folks at EA as well, and you know, thank you for your support. I have to thank the Academy. I never thought I'd be saying that personally, but, uh, you know. Uh, Get it while you can, we, right? Yeah. Hey. We, you don't get many opportunities to do that. So thank you, the Academy, for, for an award. What an amazing award to get at this stage of our careers, you know. Like, we honestly feel like we have, we have to earn this award. You know, we have to do more in the future to merit this award, along so many great people who have received it. And, and really, I mean, we owe a huge thanks to the folks at Bioware. Without them, we wouldn't be here. I'll reuse the joke from earlier that, you know, we'd be still looking in people's ears and other parts we don't want to look inside as doctors if it wasn't for them. Uh, you know, incredible. They bring it every day. People there, you know, come passionate, driven, and really trying to make great games. Um, friends and family. You know, I want to call one thing out. I, you probably saw a lot of hairstyles and stuff in the video there. A couple... You, 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 cap you, capture, you have captured only a small number of them, actually, and, and that, that reminds me to thank our wives uh, for putting up with all those. Uh, my wife, Nermal, is here. Uh, Ray's wife, Leona, is, are here. I, all, I, all I can say is for both of us, thank you for the award. We're going to try our best to earn this. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, my man. Hi, guys. Hi, boys. Congratulations. This woman was one of the masterminds behind the masterpiece Assassin's Creed, and uh, this gentleman is my G4 stunt double. Please welcome Jade Raymond from Ubisoft and my buddy Adam Sessler. Let's hear it. Clap, clap. Yay. Hi, Adam. Excuse me, real quick. Hi, Jade. Have fun. Hi. The year's best action games dropped genre devotees into all kinds of exciting locales in which to wage war, keep peace, or seek out bloody satisfaction. From a contemporary war zone to a colony under siege in the year of 2525 to an Old West hellscape that would have made Peck and Pa proud. Now these classic settings were twisted like never before in 2010, keeping gamers always on their toes as they sought those visceral thrills only an amazing action game can provide. Here are the nominees for Action Game of the Year. Battlefield Bad Company 2 brings back what hardcore Battlefield players love about the series and adds some new twists that really help it stand out as one of the best multiplayer games of the last several years. Call of Duty Black Ops, I really like getting together with my friends and playing that game this year. It's been a, it's been a really fun time. God of War 3, it's not just created a genre, but it's, it's boiled down, action-packed, ass-kicking awesome into one tiny little package filled with destruction goodness. You can leave that lone wolf stuff behind. I think they've done a really good job of kind of mixing the amount of story and making it make sense. I actually think it's the best Halo yet. Get him, boys! 
particularly love Red Dead Redemption. I actually grew up in the Southwest from a pioneer family, so it kind of recaptured that part of my youth and, you know, I think what's in every great Western. I gotta say, that's one hell of a lift. <laughs> and the winner goes to Red Dead Redemption. Get him, boys! All right, on behalf of Rockstar, thank you, Academy. <laughs> X Play's all access coverage of the 14th annual Interactive Achievement Awards will be right back.